Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math or lumped algebra problem and here we have x to the power of x into y to the power of y equals to 8 times of x to the power of y into y to the power of x and here we solve this problem for the values of x and y and here you remember one thing is that our x and y belongs to an integer. Okay, so we solve this problem for the integral values of x and y. So the very first step we are going to do is here first we move these two terms x to the power of y and y to the power of x in the left hand side so that our left hand side is written as x to the power of x into y to the power of y divided by x to the power of y into y to the power of x equals to 8. And after that, uh, here uh, we use the nice exponential law and you know about this law if we have a to the power of m over a to the power of n. So it will be written as a to the power of m minus n. So now we use here this nice exponential law uh, in this equation. Uh, so here you see that the basis on this term and this term are same so that we just subtract the denominator of this term to here and it will be written as x to the power of x minus y and similarly you see here the basis on these two terms are same so we uh, subtract the exponent of this term by here and it will be written as y to the power of y minus x and this is equals to 8 and after this step uh, here we need a little bit simplifications and we write it as x to the power of x minus y and here we have y to the power of y minus x and we write it as y to the power of minus into x minus y is equals to 8. And you see here the exponent of this term is negative so that when we take it down and then it will be written as the x to the power of x minus y divided by so this is negative exponent when we divide it here it will becomes positive and we write it as y to the power of x minus y and this whole term is equals to 8 and after that you see here the basis on both of these terms are different but its exponents are same so that we combine the exponent of these two terms and it will be written as x over y and its whole power x minus y is equals to 8 and, and we write this 8 as 8 over 1 and its whole power 1 okay because 8 over 1 becomes 8 and when you take any power its exponent 1 so it will be remain same okay so now here we uh, we solve this problem by using the two cases so uh, the first case or case number one is we compare both of these these two sides so here first we compare its basis so we have the base is x over y equals to 8 and its exponents are x minus y equals to 1 so here we just compare uh, the basis and exponents and we get these values here and now we move this y to the right hand side and it will becomes x is equals to 8y and when we put the value of x equals to 8y in this equation then we get here 8y minus y equals to 1 and you have 8y minus y is equals to 7y equals to 1 and you get here y is equals to 1 over 7 so uh, but you see here uh, we solve this problem for the integers values okay so uh, you see here y equals 1 over 7 is not integer so here we just write that y is not belongs to z so that we rejected this case okay we solve this question uh, for integer solutions so this case cannot gives us the integer solution so that we rejected this case and now we solve this problem uh, or this equation by case number 2 so our case number 2 is we rewrite this equation as x over y and its whole exponent x minus y and here you have 8 and we write this 8 as 2 cubed and its whole power 1 
so here we have two cubed and uh, we uh, rewrite this two cubed as uh, so here we write this is two over one whole cubed okay so two over one whole cubed is equals to two cubed and in the left hand side we have x over y and its whole exponent x minus y so now again we compare both of the sides and here uh, after comparing we get the value of x over y is 2 over 1 and its exponents are x minus y equals to 3. So here we find uh, the value of uh, uh, we simplify these two equations and we get the values of x and y and now first we move this x this y to the right hand side so it will becomes here x is equals to 2 times of y and we call this is our equation number 1 and now we substitute this value of y in this equation so it will be written as 2y minus y equals to 3 so here we have 2y minus y equals to y and this is y equals to 3 so you see here the value of y is an integer so uh, now we put the value of y in equation number 1 so this equation number 1 is implies that x is equals to 2 times of y and the value of y is 3 so uh, you get here x is equals to 2 3 is 6 so finally we have uh, two values of x and y is uh, x is 6 and y is 3 so these are the two integer values of x and y and now in the next step uh, we check the uh, solution is these values of x and y satisfied over a given question statement or not so that uh, to verify the solution first we copy down our given question statement and it is x to the power of x into y to the power of y equals to 8 times of x to the power of y and y to the power of x. So here we substitute the values of x and y. So we have the value of x is 6 so it will become 6 to the power of 6 and value of y is 3 to the power of 3 equals to 8 times of 6 to the power of 3 into 3 to the power of 6. So here we move these all these terms in the uh, left hand side and here we have 6 to the power of 6 it, it means that we multiply the 6 by 6 times uh, in this way. So uh, here this is the 6 to the power of 6 and this is 3 to the power of 3 it means that we multiply 3 uh, by 3 times and here you have 6 to the power of 3 and we multiply it by 6 to the power of 3 and this is 3 to the power of 6 so it will be written as 3 is multiplied by 6 times okay so in the right hand side we have only 8 so now we simplify these terms so these 3 is cancelled out by these 3 and these 3 6 is cancelled out by these 3 6 and here you have this is 3 2 the 6 and this is 3 2 the 6 and this is 3 2 the 6 so here we have 2 times of 2 is 4 and 4 times of 2 becomes 8 is equals to 8 so this is satisfied our given question statement this shows that x equals to 6 and y equals to 3 be the only solution of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos